Welcome to Frugal Willie Mae's Kitchen. And today I want to give you seven things that I no longer do. Plus I'll give you a poor widow's casserole recipe. I do want to say that when we're living frugally, it's not that we're living cheap. Sometimes frugal costs a little bit of money because we don't want to replace things often. If we set big goals, which we should, living below your means can be a path to happiness and financial security. And I think that's important for all of us. First thing that I don't do, I don't buy my pre-made biscuits or uh, cornbread or yeast breads. I make my own. It's always cheaper that way. Another thing I don't do is no, no longer buy my desserts. If I want a dessert like a banana bread, cupcake, bis, uh, cookies, Donuts, any of that, I'm going to make my own. And I usually make one dessert at a time. I don't overload my uh, plate with a lot of desserts. I don't need that many. I just need a little bit. It's a lot tastier when you make it yourself. I don't buy the most expensive items out there. Whenever I buy a product, I do research on it to find out not the highest price, but in the uh, middle of the line. If you buy the very cheapest, in most cases, you're going to replace that real often, which ends up costing you as much as the middle of the line or sometimes the expensive one. Usually I look for something that has a thousand views or more. There are some situations where uh, I may choose something that maybe has only uh, five or six hundred views, positive views. So I'd like to know how do you, what do you do to save money to live frugally? Leave a comment below. Number four, I don't buy expensive or designer clothing. I will go to a clothing store or a department store, and I usually uh, go through the sale rack to see if there's something that is a, a good price that fits me and looks good. The other thing I do, which is I do shop the charity thrift stores. We have one, well, we have two in our community that uh, gives back to the, to the uh, surrounding areas. In fact, the shirt that I'm, the sweater that I'm wearing today, I bought that at a charity thrift store and I gave $5 for it. It goes to a good cause. I get a nice, shirt, blouse, sweater, dress, and they have a, a good array of different items that I can buy there. Number five, I don't use my dishwasher weekly or daily. I use it maybe once a month just to keep make sure that everything is working good. If I decided I wanted to use it just for storage, I would just drain it and unplug it. But I don't want to do that. Sometimes whenever I have a really big cooking day, I may want to use that dishwasher. I do hand wash my dishes, and I use a pan to catch the water, and I'm able to conserve a lot of the water that way. My dishes get clean. I use really hot water, as hot as my hands can stand, and it's, it sanitizes. Number six, I don't buy the sponges, uh, the scrubbing that has a scrubbing side. I have in the past brought real sponges, but they do tend to hold bacteria. 
I have gone back to what I did years and years ago, and my family all, I grew up with all my family washing the dishes with a dishcloth, or what we call in the South a dish rag. I also use a bristle, bristle brush to clean off some of the um, items that might be on the dishes or the pots and pans usually. And I use a Brillo pad, which by the way is made in the United States. It's always been made in the United States, 100%. Number seven, I don't order the meal kits in. I don't order Uber Eats, DoorDash, or any of those services that will go get my uh, food for me. I'm, if I do that, it's going to cost me a lot more money. I do realize that those um, companies do a service for those that cannot get out and go, that may be uh, handicapped in some way, very sick, and they cannot get out and go. And I'm not telling everybody not to do that. I'm just telling you what I don't do. I make my own meal kit, and I can do a meat and two or three. I can do a veggie plate. Today I'm going to show you how to make a poor widow's casserole, and I have all of my ingredients chopped. I, have, I do have meat, but if you don't want to have the meat in there, if you're a vegan or vegetarian, you can omit that. I had two hot dogs, and that's what I'm going to put in the casserole first. I chopped up four Brussels sprouts. Two carrots. Two potatoes. Just a smidgen of uh, assorted green, uh, green, red, and yellow uh, peppers. There's not much green, but the others are, are going in there. There we go. And I'm going to put in just a few broccoli sprouts. not going to put a lot of the broccoli in there. And those are not broccoli sprouts, they're just broccoli. And then I'm going to spoon in some uh, canned tomatoes. My oven is preheating to 375. I'm going to be able to get all of that can in there. The tomatoes really make it good. My oven has preheated to 375. I did add the spices in. I did put in Celtic sea salt, a little bit of pepper, and the oregano, the Italian seasoning, and the rosemary. But you can add the flavors that you really like. I'm cooking the casserole for 30 to 35 minutes. I did cook my casserole for close to an hour. And it looks like it is really, really good. <laughs> Look at that.
That looks so good. Oh, and it's colorful. I do like that. <laughs> 